Hi, I'm Suzanne Summers. If you're watching this video, you're probably preparing to use my new toning system. But before you begin, let me thank you for your support of my products. And let me also congratulate you on doing something for yourself. Regardless of your current level of personal fitness, it's always refreshing to know that you're attempting to improve your body. When you feel good about your body, you feel good about yourself, which ultimately leads to a better you in every phase of your life. So stick with it, and again, congratulations. I think you'll be pleased with the Thighmaster Gold and the new Thighmaster LBX. I use them all the time, and believe me, they do work. I love the burn you get when you're squeezing with the Thighmaster Gold or pushing out with the Thighmaster LBX. If you will use them consistently and follow the instructions in this workout video, you can tone and firm most every part of your body. Now, to be honest with you, exercise is not always a lot of fun. It takes discipline and motivation to make yourself set aside some time to exercise. I struggle with it all the time. But I love the end results, so I know that I will always find the time, some way, somehow. I encourage you to do the same. It'll be well worth it. The workout video, which you are about to watch, contains 12 great exercises for both the upper and lower body. Our models will demonstrate each exercise using the proper technique and positioning. And remember, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor before beginning any exercise program. So good luck. I hope you'll be very pleased with the products and the results. Thanks a lot. It's important to begin every workout with a proper warm-up of your muscle groups. You can do any warm-up routine since the important thing is warming up the various muscle groups and increasing blood flow. Or you can warm up using your Thighmaster Gold. Begin by holding the Thighmaster Gold straight out in front of you, slowly and partially flexing the coil to the point where you begin to feel a little resistance. Keeping tension, raise the coil overhead, then straight out in front of you, then down toward the floor. At the same time, warm up your lower body by doing mini squats. Lower your body as if you were preparing to sit, then straighten up again. Proper breathing while exercising is extremely important. Exhale on the contraction or squeezing phase of the rep when the resistance is the greatest. Then inhale on the release phase. It's very important that you do not hold your breath. Continue this routine for three to five minutes. Let's start with a signature exercise of the Thighmaster Gold, which works the inner thigh. You'll need a straight back chair and of course your Thighmaster Gold. Sit forward in the chair with your feet together so you're comfortable and so your thighs can move freely. Hold the Thighmaster Gold between your knees with the cap pointing toward the floor. Place one hand over each handle to hold the exerciser in place. Now squeeze the handles together with your thighs. Resist the return. This is the effective exercise which has made the Thighmaster Gold one of the most successful exercise products of all time. You may wish to begin with 10 to 12 reps of each of the following exercises. Although Suzanne says she does 50 of this particular exercise every night before she goes to bed. Now let's work the triceps or the back of the arm. Sit in a chair with your knees together and rest the Thighmaster Gold securely on your left thigh. Place the yellow cap in front of your waist. It's important to keep your elbows in close to your body throughout this entire exercise. Place the palms of both hands on the upper handle and press down. Try to press all the way down to the lower handle if possible. Resist, return, and continue. After completing reps on this side, switch legs and repeat with the opposite arm. Either standing or sitting, place one handle of the Thighmaster Gold against your left side, from waist to underarm, with the yellow cap pointing up in front of your underarm. The bottom of the handle should be one or two inches below the top of your hip bone. Firmly hold the Thighmaster Gold in place with your right hand. Position your left forearm across the extended Thighmaster Gold, and press downward, toward your hip, using the inside of the elbow. This exercise works the lats and deltoid, or upper shoulder muscles. Resist the return with smooth, controlled movements. Then repeat on the other side. Hold the Thighmaster Gold with the yellow cap facing upward toward the chin and the handles pointed downward toward the floor. 
Place your hands below the cap with your forearms resting against the handles. Now squeeze the handles in with your elbows. For maximum benefit, try to bring your elbows together as close as possible. For even greater intensity, raise your forearms to shoulder height so that they are parallel to the floor. Now let's work those upper body muscles. Raise your thigh master gold and contract the coil, pressing with the heels of the hands. Then, in one fluid movement, lower the thigh master gold and contract the coil. Continue your reps, alternating one raised and one downward contraction. For our last exercise, let's work the abdominals. Lie down with your back on the floor, feet flat and knees bent. Now place the thigh master gold with the yellow cap facing upward so that one handle is about halfway down your thighs and the other handle is positioned over your chest. Lift your shoulders a few inches off the floor, making sure to keep your neck in alignment with your spine. Curl your upper body toward your thighs, keeping your lower back firmly on the floor and holding your abdominals tight. Exhale as you lift and contract and inhale as you release and return to the floor. Let's begin your Thighmaster LBX workout by sitting in a chair with your back straight and your feet flat on the floor. Move forward in the chair so you're comfortable and so your thighs can move freely. Place the Thighmaster LBX around the back sides of your legs with the handles wrapped around your knees. Begin by smoothly pressing your knees apart. You can work the legs together, or you can isolate the exercise by working each leg individually. To work a leg individually, keep one leg stationary while pressing outward with the other leg. While sitting in a chair with your back straight, slide forward so you're comfortable and so your thighs can move freely. Place a box or stool in front of you so your knees are at a point higher than your hips. Place your Thighmaster LBX on the back side of your legs and around your knees. Begin by smoothly pressing your knees apart. Resist the return and continue. Now stand upright and face your chair. Place the Thighmaster LBX around the back side of your legs with the handles around your knees. Bend forward at the waist and firmly grasp the seat of the chair. Bend your knees slightly and begin by smoothly pressing in and out with your knees. Resist the return and continue. Now lie down with your back to the floor, knees bent. Place your Thighmaster LBX handles facing up around your knees with a yellow disc facing the floor. Begin by pressing your knees apart, then back in again with a smooth, controlled, in and out motion. Try not to let your knees touch as this may cause some discomfort to the inner knee. Now, for greater resistance, we'll do a pelvic tilt variation. If you have back problems or experience any discomfort, do not do this variation. Begin by tilting the pelvis and the hips upward and off the floor. Now we're not resting on the muscles that we're working, so we're providing greater resistance and a more effective movement. Keeping your abs tightly contracted, press your knees apart, then back again with a smooth, controlled in and out motion. Now lie on your right side with your knees bent and lean on your right elbow. This will relieve any strain to your back. Place your Thighmaster LBX around the back of the knees. Begin by smoothly lifting your left leg upward, then hold for a count of three and slowly return to the starting position. Resist as you return to the starting position. Switch to your left side and repeat the same exercise. As you perform this exercise, be sure to keep both of your shoulders and your hips upright and in good vertical alignment. Get on your hands and knees, then place the Thighmaster LBX around the back of your legs with the handle secured around your knees. Raise your left leg out to the side of your body in a smooth, fluid movement and then resist the return to the starting position. 
Repeat the same exercise with your right leg. As you perform this exercise, your hands should be directly under your shoulders. Your back should be straight and parallel to the ground, and your abs should be tight.